Yo, the name is Major Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's play some more Far Cry 5. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly get together a whopping 42 perk points right at the start of the game by raiding 10 secret stashes located around the gamescape. There are a total of 27 of these so-called prepper stashes, with each one containing three perk magazines, and each one of those giving you a free perk point and, and wait for it, a big pile of money. Yeah, cha-ching. I've worked up a special prepper stash run that you can do right after liberating Duchess Island, basically right at the beginning of the game. And this run will net you, like I said, 42 perk points and $11,000 cash, and will unlock the following weapons at any general store. The flamethrower, the sniper rifle, the shotgun, and the SMG. If you were to purchase all these weapons, it would cost you $7,180. Hell no. That's right, Wee. Hell no. Let's get them all for free. Plus... You will also unlock the special 1973 Pygmalion SSR muscle car. Plus, I will also show you where you can get a free helicopter. Holy moly, Slack. How long is this going to take us? A day and a half? Nope. One hour. One hour? One hour. Let's get busy. Major Slack videos. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Okay, here we go. Prepper Stash Speedrun. I'm assuming that you're right at the beginning of the game, right after liberating Duchess Island, okay? And um, if you want to be on the exact same page as me, exit the game right after finishing Duchess Island and then restart the game. And I'm assuming you're also at the central radio tower. You have a kind of a handful of components, nothing special, and you have at least a pistol. And we're about to pick up the assault rifle. And that's it, that's all I need. I also have $1,900, which is what I always finish um, Dutch's Island with. And I also have two remote explosives. That's important, okay? I always finish Dutch's Island with two remote explosives. Um, I'm pretty sure that's standard. Here I'm going to try to bag a deer, because that would make a big difference on how the run proceeds. If I can bag a deer, then I'll uh, exit, restart, bag another one which would give me four deer skins and after selling those plus the $1900 that would give me enough to get a silencer and the reflex sight for the pistol which would make a huge difference in this run but since I couldn't I'm just gonna you know forget about that grab this assault rifle in the garage at the central radio tower and tag this boat which is at the dock on the west side of Dutchess Island always I've never seen it not spawn there Okay, and if you didn't get a boat to spawn there, like I said, exit the game right after finishing Duchess Island and restart um, like you're safe. And you'll start at the central radio tower and that boat should always spawn there. Always. And I grabbed that lupine, lupine, whatever. That's not really essential. I just did that because, you know, I like looting stuff. And here we go. We got ourselves a jet ski. We're going to go for our first prepper stash location. It's just northwest of the dock is right there on this little island now be advised that boating is one of the most dangerous things you can do in Far Cry 5 in terms of traveling I would rate boating the most dangerous driving the second most dangerous and flying of course the least dangerous although there are dangers in flying as well now you want to hug the west side of Duchess Island as you go out towards this location okay and kind of like go up right into the middle of the lake and we're going to swing around gently to this location. And Dutch is going to come on the radio momentarily with this introduction of this region. Okay, now park your jet ski nicely so that you can take off quickly up on the shore here and come around. Hit the prepper's note. You don't have to do that though when you do these prepper stashes. But this one I recommend it because it's going to give you the location of where to dive for the key. Okay, there's the location where to dive for the key. You want to park your boat right above that location. Okay, park your jet ski right above the location. Watch out for enemies because this is the thing that's going to screw you up the most. Okay, so just keep approaching slowly. You're looking for one of those buoy markers. Those little red balls there. It's this one right here. Once you're directly over the marker, 
get off your jet ski and dive down and you're going to find a key right there once you got the key go back to your jet ski as soon as you get on make sure you take a look take a look around for enemies like I said that's the one thing that's going to slow you down in this part and usually I like to put a marker on the island so I don't get mixed up with that other island over there when I'm driving back because the other island has the enemies on it now we're just going to jam the jet ski right up on the beach doesn't matter because we're done with it jam it up right now on the beach save time go back to this little green locker here and here is your first prepper stash a ton of cash and three perk points and there's also a loot box over here now we're going to spend these three perk points right away one on human fish one on parachute and one on grapple if you want to be really really stingy the only one you absolutely necessarily need for this run is grapple okay but I recommend you get those other two and there's always a plane just south of here you saw me just tag it this is pretty much a guaranteed spawn post a comment if this doesn't spawn for you and this is basically an in-game tutorial about perks this always happens when you get your first perk points so I'm just jamming through that and you see enemies over there if you want to get away from enemies and you're near water dive in the water and go underwater it's the best thing you could do so you see enemies approaching I don't want them to screw up my takeoff on the plane so I'm diving underwater trying to you know remain stealthy I'm gonna come up on the dock here Get in the plane. Okay, and I'm going to spin it around as quickly as possible. There's enemies in the area, but planes can take off fairly quickly in Far Cry 5. So just accelerate and pitch back, and you pretty, you know, it kind of defies the law of gravity or the law of physics, the, the laws of physics rather, because they can take off pretty quickly without even getting up to speed. Okay, next prepper stash. Look for Silver Lake to the northeast. Silver Lake and this big island right in the middle. Put a waypoint on the east side of the island and that's our next location. By the way, all the prepper stash locations are listed in the video description, okay? And I'll try to put timestamps for uh, when I hit them all up. This one is called the Tanami Residence. The one we just did previously is called Salvage Camp. and I'm calling it by the name of the location where the prepper stash is not by the name of the prepper stash mission okay now when you get just over this bail out pull your parachute I don't have a parachute slacker then you're gonna have to boat here <laughs> by the way if your plane lands in water you can go back and retrieve it Okay, I'm going to step on Dutch's dialogue here because this is necessary. Um, if your plane lands on water, it will survive and you can go retrieve it. If it doesn't land on water and it lands on land, it will blow up. Okay. Here we're going to go for this hole in the side of this kind of sunken, whatever it is here at the Tenami residence, this sunken building. Like swim in this hole and the human fish skill will help you out loot that box there once again though the human fish perk is not necessary the only one you absolutely need is grapple but the human fish perk will make things a lot easier especially for the swim you're about to make okay so just follow what I'm doing here up the ladder down here and you have to hit this switch here which will pull up this sunken dredge here allowing you to swim down into the hole once that's pulled up you can swim down into the hole there's one short swim and then there's one long swim here's the short swim surface go to the right a bit get up on this little ledge here and then here's the long swim this swim you can make without the human fish perk it's it's doable but you have just enough time and you have to know exactly what you're doing basically hook around to the the left and then go straight down here 
If you see the little green merchant icon ahead of you, you know you're going the right way. Go here, up here, and you surface, interact, and climb up. Now watch out, there's a snake in the room up ahead, so take out your pistol, inch around, and gun it down. Otherwise, if it bites you, it will poison you. Loot this and go in this little room here, and here is your second prepper stash. Three perks and a whole bunch of cash. Now, you're going to have to forgive me if I overlook anything in these prepper stashes. Uh, this is about, this is just for demonstrational purposes, is about how fast you can hit up all these prepper stashes, okay? So if I pause every prepper stash and look for every last little bit of loot, it's going to slow me down a lot, right? So that's not what this is about, all right? Next location is go down to like the southeast. Oh yeah, first of all, you need a means of transportation. If your plane survived, you can go retrieve it, but I don't recommend it actually. I, pr I prefer buying a boat, buying a jet ski. So now we can have a jet ski at any boat merchant that we come upon. So it's now permanently unlocked. So I'll spawn that. And I do this because I find it's faster than swimming over to my plane and retrieving it and then taking off. It's generally faster. By the time you get retrieve your plane and take off, you could be halfway there by boat. This location is kind of like east southeast of our current location. You saw me just tag it there. And this is the Silver Lake summer camp that we're going to. Now, as we're boating there, you're going to try to avoid all the enemies as much as possible, which may be another argument for wanting to take the plane. <laughs> Depends on what you want to do. If they do tag you and start chasing you, I find it's best to try to gun them down right away. See, now he's after me, so I gotta use my pistol. This is where the reflex sight would really help. It actually nailed them, anyways. <laughs> so I got him off my arse. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna jam the jet ski right up on land, right on the right side of the house. <laughs> yeah, James Bond here. And. Gun down these two guys here, try to get headshots if you can. And this here, just climb up here, kick through these wooden slats here, and you're gonna search through all the doggy doo that you find on the floor. What? Yeah, yeah, that's what you have to do. You're looking for a key. It's randomly located in one of these doggy doos. It's not a set location, you have to search them all. Okay, I found it in as little as four searches, and other times it's taking 15 searches. And if you run out of doggy do, just go back to the beginning again, and this guy's laying a fresh one. <laughs> if you run out of doggy do, just go back to the beginning again and and do it over, because the dogs will keep laying more turds. Okay, so you never run out of turds. Keep searching them all. As soon as you find the key, you'll know. You'll see it says, "There we go, summer camp key card found." Go outside. This truck is always here. Highly recommend you take it. And we're going to drive out to cabin two. And you can see the prepper's note on my left there. It's not necessary to read the prepper's note to do these prepper stash missions. You don't have to do that. That's just to kind of help you out. Here we go, cabin two. Unlock it with the key card. Loot up this here. And here's your big pile of money. Cha-ching. And here are the three perk magazines. Grab those up and you got three more perks. And I strongly recommend that you take this crossbow, this compound bow here. I'm going to call him a crossbow because that's what I'm accustomed to. Because the next location we're going to see um, encounter some wolves. Okay, and the next, next location is just down this dirt path here. All right, it's very close by. And if you follow this dirt path, this will take us across the highway um, without running into any guardrails. I kind of got off course here. So follow the dirt path. And at the top, I tried to run over one guy. And I ended up running into the guardrail anyways. Because that's one of the challenges that you could complete is hit and run. Hit and run five guys, I believe, and that will give you two free perk points. And whenever you see moose in the area, it, they're going to do this. 
It's, it's pretty much guaranteed. If you see a moose and you're in a vehicle, he's gonna ram into you and knock you over. I was lucky there. Usually you end up like completely flipped over. Okay, now here's the next prepper stash. Here's Here we're actually gonna hit up the note. And you can read the note. This always gives you a clue as to where the prepper stash is. Now, for those mathematicians out there, uh, actually it only takes fourth grade mathematics to figure this out. <laughs> uh, some of you may be wondering, Slack! 10 secret stashes, 3 points per stash, that's only 30 perk points. Where do you get 42 perk points? We're going to get the extra perk points by completing challenges. And here I just want to throw a rock over the head of these guys and distract them, get them turned the other way, and get them kind of grouped together because I'm going to throw a remote explosive over in their direction and introduce them to the Big Bang Theory. Nicely grouped together, let's throw over a remote explosive, blow it, and we get 2 remote explosive kills, I'm going to show you that. All we need is one more to get two free perk points. Scroll on down here, there we go, remote explosive kills. We got two out of three, that's required. Here I'm working on wolf, wolf skins. The wolf skins challenge. I don't really care about how many wolf skins I get. So that's why I'm just gunning them down with the, the pistol. But if you can, um, shoot them with the compound bow because you get more skins. And be advised that it's not how many skins you get, but rather how many wolves you skin. So let's say you shoot down a wolf with the compound bow, that'll give you double skins, but that won't give you like a double count in your wolf, wolves skinned challenge, if you get my meaning. And as you're going along, keep checking to see if you can craft a speed potion officially known as the fast and that's going to help out a lot because if you consume five potions six potions rather you'll complete another challenge okay so grapple up here climb up here this by the way is the howling cave location and you can see a big pit of water here just jump right down don't worry don't open your chute whatever you do surface and climb up and we're going to go into Howling Cave get your remote explosives ready again because there's going to be more guys inside tag them, there they are right there chuck in a bomb blow it and we completed the challenge remote explosive kills and we get two perk points for that now we're going to start working on our handgun kills challenge you have to get 10 handgun kills to get two more perk points. And you want to get this challenge complete, mostly complete at least, or completely complete by the time you hit McCullough's Garage, which is the seventh location that we're going to hit up. Here, I just want to shoot open this cage. This will free a wolf. And try to nail him right on the nose. And if you do that, you'll kill him instantly. And this will give you two wolf skins and that will be that will count as another wolf skinned but that challenge I rarely complete in this run I just do that as a kind of backup so if at the end of the run I don't have enough perk points I can always go hunting for wolves and complete the challenge get two perk points like that and here is a free helicopter and also I want to spend this is entirely optional, but I strongly recommend it. You see, I'm maxed out on a lot of my loot. So I strongly recommend that you spend seven perk points on the journey pack, which will allow you to carry a lot more loot. So here now I can loot this box. This is entirely optional though. And here is your prepper stash, three perk points and a whole bunch of money. But like I said, if you don't want to do that, um, you don't have to, but you're going to miss out on a lot of loot because this run has a lot of loot. And here is your free helicopter. There's only one catch. You got to get it out of this cave. But it's pretty, it's, I wouldn't say, it's fairly simple. Just go straight up, forward. Got to do this gently. Don't worry if you bang up the blades a little bit. Then down. Then straight forward. And then straight up and you got yourself a free helicopter. 
and this is perfect because the next prepper stash is way up at the the highest I believe is the highest location in um, the game Raptor Peak somebody correct me if I'm wrong it's way the hell up there all you have to do is get there there's no puzzle to solve when you get to this location all you have to do is get there and once you get there the prepper stash is just there for the grabbing so it's just a matter of flying up there with your helicopter this what you're seeing took about I'd say about a dozen runs easy to perfect it. When I first started doing this run, I had it like, I did it in about an hour and a half. And then um, more practicing and more practicing, I finally got down to under an hour. And I also like perfected which challenges to do, which were the best challenges to complete as you're doing this run. This is the best place to land right here. And you'd be advise to land carefully because you need this helicopter at least for the next run after that you can abandon it okay so there we go park it there and like I said all you have to do is just get here run around here make sure you grab the shotgun replace it with the compound bow this will give you a free shotgun unlocked at emergency inventory so make sure you grab this flamethrower here as well I'm just going to grab it and then swap it back out for the shotgun, which will also unlock the flamethrower um, at any general store. And here's your prepper stash, three perk magazines, a big pile of cash. And now we have seven prepper, blah, seven perk points. Let's go back to the helicopter and go to the next location, which is Horned Serpent Cave. It's straight down. Just look for Rock, Rock Bass Lake. Okay, there's Rock Bass Lake. And then look south of there. Find this this bridge right here and it looks south of that you see this road going down here put a waypoint right there and that's where we're going this is horned serpent cave that we're going to now and you just fly there now um, as I said th this video took at least a dozen runs probably that's probably a gross understatement it's probably more like two dozen runs to put together yeah it's a lot of work it's probably about several days of work if I add it all up easy um, at least two days work so um, if you enjoy this video please please give the old slacks or a big old thumbs up to help uh, promote this video to help promote my channel and um, if you would really want to be a hardcore slacker would you mosey on over to my Patreon page and consider making a small donation uh, to help me out? All right, that would be really greatly appreciated. The link to my Patreon page is down in the video description. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Okay, we're getting near the location. You see those green patches, those green fields are there? Make sure you don't land in those because those are those special, I think those are those like bliss flowers that get you like, you know, really stoned and whatnot. Usually I like to land right about here. And we're going to start working on our pistol kill challenge, our handgun kill challenge. So I'm switching over that to the pistol. Just checking to see how many kills I've got. I should have three four so I need six more it's important that you max out your handgun kill challenge before we hit the garage like I said because then we can swap out the pistol for the SMG if you don't you're gonna be kinda screwed okay so I thought I heard an animal off to my left there try to go to for headshots whenever you can because that's another challenge you can complete and nice. liberate that guy. That's going to be another challenge we can complete. Liberate three civilians. Now here I'm just actually like looking for trouble. So I'm looking along the road to see if there's any enemies like, that are passing by that I can just like take pot shots at. Get them to come at me so that we can get some more pistol kills. There was nobody there so I'm just going to continue. 
and the prep stash location is up these stairs here. And I'm going to turn on my speed potion, take a speed potion. It's a good time to use it. There's the prepper's note. Got to grapple up here. Do I have to get the grapple prick slack? Yes, absolutely. There may be another way to get up here, but the last purpose stash that we're going for absolutely requires the grapple perk, so if that's not optional. A couple of bad boys down here. And there's some creeping up behind me. Let's try to go for headshots once again. Here we go, so that's, that counts as handgun kills and headshot kills. Loot those guys, but I don't always loot everybody in this round because, like I said, once again, this is just for demonstrational purposes. This is about, you know, showing you all the locations, and how to solve the puzzles, and how to complete challenges on the way. If you want to take your time and loot every last thing, all the power to you. Okay, here's the grapple point, and. We're going to repel down here, all the way to the bottom. Detach at the bottom. And now you're going to be in this kind of cave full of toxic water. If you land in the water, um, it will do damage. And pretty much if you land in the water, you won't be able to get out fast enough um, before the damage kills you. So <laughs> basically, don't land in the water. And then you have to do this whole Super Mario thing. Just do what I'm doing here. And this is where the speed potion really helps because you can jump a lot further. Okay, you gotta grapple here. When you sprint while you run using a speed potion, you can jump a lot further. And here, if you're wondering how I'm managing to swing, just when you're hanging on the grapple, push forward to swing forward a little bit. Then as you're um, swinging back, hold the back button to swing back. Like give yourself more momentum as you're swinging back. So you're going to do it again here, like grapple, pull yourself forward, and then I'm pushing forward, now I'm pushing back to gain momentum, pushing forward to gain momentum, and detach. Exactly the way you would like use a child's swing and use your legs to like build up momentum, okay? Same deal. Take the zip line down here. Make sure you grab all these loot bags here, because these take, contain a lot of valuable components. You're going to max out your components very quickly doing this. Just checking my handgun kills. Continue up the stairs. And it's just around the corner to the left. There's going to be a guy there. Grab this loot here. Try to do a headshot. Get credit for headshots and handgun kills. And watch over the doggy. Usually, I'd like to just shotgun him. Takes care of him nice and quick. Do that bad boy there. And here is the prepper stash. Three perks and a big pile of cash. Cha ching. Okay, so now we have 10 perk points. And that's all we're going to spend for the rest of this run. The human fish perk, the grapple perk, the parachute, and the journey pack. And then after that we're going to save all the rest of the perk points. We're going to make another speed potion. Usually when you come back out here, there's always a couple guys here that have respawns. So you can use those for more pistol kills. And this is a cult VIP member, so these guys are real tough hombres. So what I want to do is throw in an explosive there. This will, I'm doing this for two reasons. One is to kill the music, and another one is to do a lot of damage to the cult VIP. And I'm killing the music not because I don't like it, because uh, because of copyright issues. 
as much as I love hearing Creedence Clearwater Revival in this game, um, and numerous other great classic rock songs, um, there's going to be huge copyright issues with these videos. Okay, so cult VIP, cult VIP member down. That's completely random. And there we go. This is the location we're at, Orange Serpent Cave. Now we're going to go south of here to McCullough's... McCullough? McCullough? I'm going to call it McCullough. McCullough's Garage, which is right here. Okay, just follow that road down. And it's right at the crossroads. Two choices. You could take your chopper. I don't recommend it, though, because by the time you get up in Airborne, um, you know, you could just drive there. Here's just checking on my handgun kills. Need one more, and then we're going to switch over to shotgun. There we go. Handgun kills complete. We got two more brick boys for that. Switch over to the shotgun, and now we're going to work on shotgun kills. And here we got a little Harry here. And I managed to free a civilian doing this. So now I completed the civilian's rescue challenge. That's two more brick points for that. Okay, and just double checking my map here. I meant to hit the map button. There we go. Going from Horn Serpent Cave down to the garage. On the way, I'm going to be on the lookout for uh, any cultists that I can run over like that one. I should have nailed him. And keep working on my hit and run challenge. That is another what I call a maybe challenge. I don't uh, normally complete that challenge because it really all depends on how many cultists you happen to see in the middle of the road as you're driving from one location to the other. Entirely, uh, entirely random. And be advised that there will be some collateral damage <laughs> as I misidentify civilians as cultists. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> Ain't war hell. Okay, so straight down here, check this out. Let's get double points for this one. <laughs> Messed up the truck a little bit, but uh, hey. And Dutch, if you find yourself getting a little dry in the mouth, you can always stop at the tour guide crap and just let me go on my own. Stop interrupting every five seconds. Okay, yeah, no, that tends to get on my nerves. Um, two shotgun kills. We're working on shotgun kills. Here we are at the garage. This can be a heavy uh, location to work. I strongly recommend you, the first thing you do, go up the ladder at the back, get on the roof, blow away this called this here and grab her machine gun or her submachine gun make sure you switch over to the pistol so you can swap it out for the pistol and now we have another weapon which we can use to get more challenges that is uh, get 10 SMG kills there's another civilian rescued and then go down the back and use this kind of like cover as cover to work on shotgun kills Now this is very unusual and there's always a sniper up here if you want to take the time and go up there and see what they've got going on as far as weaponry. Maybe you'll score a 50 cal. But I don't bother. Um, this is very unusual. It's really quiet here. So just break through these slats here. Interact with that switch there and that'll open the garage door. And then go around the front. This is really unusual. This is really quiet and go into the garage and you're going to go into the the back room here up on the crates watch out there may be a wolverine here right there so go in with your shotgun and there's a key in the men's room right here grab the key climb up in these crates where the blue bars are climb up shoot the lock with your pistol and that'll blow the lock off come back here Go back into the back door here, and this door will be unlocked, and you found yourself another prepper stash. Three more perk points, big pile of cash. And um, if you check out all the messages and whatnot here, 
you'll be told that you've just inherited uh, this guy's special muscle car. I don't know why this car is different. This is a car right here that you inherit. And there we go, I just swapped out for a sniper rifle to unlock sniper ri this particular sniper rifle in the general store. And I'm just taking a pot shot at this guy, see if I can nail him, because sometimes this guy can do a lot of damage. And I just want to swap back for my shotgun. I forget the name of this car, but this is the, this guy's car. Now, according to the official game guide, all you have to do is just simply complete this mission to unlock the 1973 Pygmalion muscle car. But I always get a little paranoid, so I like to actually get in this car right here to make sure. That it's unlocked. And then I take the other car, because I believe it handles better which is actually a different model. I think it's the, uh, I forget what it's called. Next location anyways, down west southwest, go down straight down that road there and you're looking for this little bridge right, I don't know if you can see it in the video, right there. Now we're not going to take the road all the way. We're just going to take the road straight down and we're going to go up this short little hill and then I'll like It'd be like a little jump. <laughs> I'm just gonna jam this car in the river. Because, <laughs> you know, that's what I do. As soon as we fast travel, we're gonna lose it anyways. So, up and over. Okay, instead of taking the road all the way around. And they're going to take a speed potion as soon as they get up and land here. And away we go. Now we're coming up on the Bright Warden Radon Spa location. Right here. This is kind of like a hallucinogenic haunted mine. And it's, it's a hot LZ as you can see. You have two choices, deal with the guys outside or go inside. There's lots of enemies inside, so don't worry about, you know, not getting enough kills. Use the shotgun to blow that away. Oddly enough, those slats cannot be blown away with a baseball bat. I tried, it didn't work. Melee attacks won't do it in. You could blow them up with explosives, but, uh... Same thing, thing here, shotgun. Something blocked my way here unusually. Kick through these. And kill that snake. <laughs> Basically the note for this says if you can get to the generator at the back and turn it on, it will allow you into the prepper stash room. So here's the generator. Hit that switch, then everything goes dark. And I got temporarily lost here, swinging around. Now you just gotta retrace your steps. Working on shotgun kills. You could actually do death from above kills on these guys, but there's not enough of those situations to make it worthwhile in this run. Here you have to 
jump this gap. Because if you go down, you won't be able to climb up. It's too high, so you have to jump the gap. Unlike when you're going the other way, there's kind of ledges. Hang on, reloading. Back off. That boy. <laughs> Insult to injury. A buckshot shampoo after getting sucker punched. Okay, so I just noticed that I got another bliss oil. Time to make some more speed potions. And here is our stash. The path to Eden Put is up clear. Three prick magazines and a whole bunch of cash. That's it. Now typically as usual when you go into a cave and you come out, enemies will respawn and or like, you know, come down on the on the situation. Next, that is our big loop through Henbane the Henbane district. I believe that we hit up all the prepper stashes in the Henbane district except one. So now we're gonna go back, look for rock rock bass lake and you're going to go to the west you see these two little ponds here one two put a waypoint just to the west of the second pond and that's where we're going the next location dead man's mill now this is kind of out of the way so the best thing i recommend is go back to horn serpent cave and hope that there's a vehicle of some kind there usually there is i've never gone there with absolutely no vehicle whatsoever even if it's just a boat So let's check the map. And there is a pickup down the road a bit, so let's go for that. Now normally I wouldn't use a speed potion just to go 100 meters. But um, once again, if you consume six potions, or homeopathics as they call them, you will um, complete another challenge. So that's one that you can easily complete in this run. Especially because they give you, you get so much loot in this run. There we go, so. Shotgun kills complete. Switch over to the SMG and let's start working on SMG kills. You got the SMG from the garage, right? You didn't? Uh oh. Yeah, because usually, usually those despawn if you try to go back. Okay, so I lost my waypoint because I was doing something else. I put it somewhere else. There we go. Same thing as before. Kill the music clack. Actually, I think that music is from the other vehicle. Okay, so let's go for a little drive. damage. If it runs, it's a cultist. If it stands still, it's a very disciplined cultist. Name that movie that I just bastardized that line from. I love driving in this game. This is a great kill. This is great. <laughs> just mow them down. I just get double points for that one. Okay, now at this point I want to bail out and just proceed on foot. 
This is a really heavy area. Okay, Dead Man's Mill. Working on the SMG kills. The puzzle here is to get um, the valve for the waterfall. And it's below the hut. Whatever you do, try not to go in the water. Okay, so you gotta go down here beneath the hut and climb up. And I believe there's a skunk down there. Grab the waterfall wheel. And now, because I know there's a skunk down there, I just want to chuck in a grenade. Do it in. And the game kept throwing me back up because I was like, yeah, I was too close to the ropes, the climby ropes. Okay, so now we got the water wheel, but there's still uh, it's still hot. This is what you don't want to happen. I have killed, I've got myself killed like that. That little stream, and all of a sudden you go under. And the enemy's right there. And he guns you down before you can get out. Okay, getting lots of SMG kills here. This is great. So, really hot though. This is really typical of this location. So, you can get lots of kills here. Okay, so where we're going is down there, that bridge. The other side, right here. Very unsportsmanlike kill of that cougar. Slap the water fall wheel on that, interact with it, and this will shut down the waterfall. And then grapple down here. Repel all the way to the bottom. Detach. Two more kills to complete the SMG kills challenge. There's our prepper stash. Cha ching. And three more points. Almost done. One more prepper stash to go. So we got 25 perk points. Now don't forget I spent 10 perk points on grapple, parachute, um, human fish, and journey pack. So that's actually 35 perk points that we've earned so far. Let us now fast travel right back to Duchess region. And here I just want to double check to make sure that my run is complete. There should be, here's the prepper stash list. This includes the um, junior stash that you do on Duchess Island, the kind of like uh, in-game tutorial stash, which is called sunken funds. So as long as you've got 10, list, 10 listed there, you got nine regular prepper stashes. So back to the central radio tower, 
and we're going to get the tenth one, which is called, which is at the Bridge of Tears location. It's this one that you absolutely need the grapple perk for. The other ones, uh, I'm not sure. There may be one more that you absolutely need the grapple perk for. And I want to tag the same boat that I got before. And let's use a speed potion to get there. Keep working on that challenge and get there quicker. Now this prepper stash, if you go pretty much due, due south from Dutchess Island, you see this curving bridge here. It's right here. That's where it is. You'll see me change the location halfway down because I thought it, I got confused. I thought it was at the, uh, the near end of the bridge, but it's right there where I first put the waypoint. That's where it actually is. Ignore this. It's where I first put the waypoint. See, I'm doing this in the dark. Plus, I'm trying to go for the stash without hitting up the prepper's note, which is something I've never done for this last location. The prepper's note is actually on top of the bridge. Like I was looking at my laptop to see if I took any notes on this pepper stash. And I didn't, so I'm just gonna have to wing it. I mean I've done it many times, but like I said, I've never done it in the dark, and I've never I always go for the the note which is at the the far end of the bridge on top. I always go for the note first. So now I'm looking around for the scaffolding to climb it up, to climb up, and it's not here, it's at the other end of the bridge. So here, I wasted a little bit of time here. Sorry, my bad. It's not there, Slack. Go to the other end of the bridge. No, it's not there either. Run away. Pick these lupine to make it, sh make it look like you were here for a purpose. <laughs> Okay, so we're back on track. Make another speed potion. It's perfect time. And I have now consumed six homeopathics, so that completes another challenge and another two brick points. Okay, so go all the way to the other end of the bridge where I first put a where a waypoint that I was right in the first place. Enemy activity at the bottom here. And I'm probably going to throw an explosive of some kind to kill the music. I heard a dog barking at a ray race for the past few hours. Okay, buddy, you better, like, you know, am scray because. quite make it. Are you gonna save him, Slack? No, he's gonna... Alright, let's go save him. Wanna go save him? Okay. So now I've completed my SMG's kills challenge. So, at this point, um, if you still got enemies left, time to start working on your melee kills. And this guy didn't make it. Ain't more hell. <laughs> I just love whacking these cultists in the head with a shovel. I just that's one of my favorite activities in this game. Okay, so last prepper stash. Climb the scaffolding at this end of the bridge. And this is basically a grapple puzzle. Go 
all the way to the top. But whatever was in that toolbox, I already have maxed out that in my inventory. There we go, there's the first grapple. Hit that, swing down, immediately do another grapple right there. And you're going to try to dismount on this platform here. Got to make a long jump here. Grapple here. Swing down, look for another grapple as soon as you get to the top of your swing here. Rinse and repeat here. And now you're going to try to dismount on this platform here. And usually I like do a couple of really big swings. Same thing as I told you before. Push forward when you're going forward to build up your momentum and hold back when you're going back to do the same to build up your momentum going back. Just like using a child swing. That's it. Dismount. Go on this platform here. Breaks through. You fall down. And here is the stash. That's all the money in the... the magazines are in the next room right there right here and this will do it people three prick points awarded let's check it out there we go 32 perk points so there we go 40 perk points in under one hour so that is it that is my prepper stash speed run that's how to get 42 perk points and a whole bunch of goodies and eleven thousand bucks cash um That'll come out to 11,000 once I sell the skins that I got. Usually I get 11,000 um, now, even without selling the skins. Anyways, close enough for rock and roll. Yeah, and get a whole bunch of weapons unlocked. First hour of the game. That's it, people. Thanks a lot for watching. And once again, if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, hey, don't forget to give the old Slackster a big old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my videos hot of the press. All right, see you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes. All right, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.